serving in Afghanistan, it's not that easy. On our way to the high ground, I knew that something bad that is about to happen. I just sense it in, in my spirit. As soon as we reversed, reversed the vehicle, we were up in the air. Trying to, to get up and look for my weapons, that's the time when I realized that something is wrong. And then when I looked down, my legs wasn't there. And I knew that I won't make it. I knew that I won't see my wife again. I knew that I won't see my children again. And that's when I look up to the sky, I said a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, if you are willing to use my life to motivate and to encourage others, please give me back life again. And I look at myself, my body was just up to my knees. I was lost for words. I said to myself, I'll, I'll walk again. Even it takes a day, a year, or even 10 years, one day I'll stand up and walk again. You cannot change the past, but you can change your tomorrow or your future. I cannot change this. My legs won't grow up again. It won't be the same as before. What the thing I have to do is I have to get used to this. And that's life. At the moment, I'm a record holder in shot put in my category. I'm the second in the country in discus. So it's quite an achievement. But my hope for the future is to represent Great Britain in Paralympic 2012. I want to be in the podium to win medals. I've never regretted losing my legs. It has just changed my, my life completely. I've done so much now than before. Now I appreciate life. To win the Sports Endeavour Awards, it's a privilege. I'm just so thankful.